It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. So New York wins the tip. To the paint. Out to Morant. And Embiid with the block. And how about the anticipation from the big fella? Embiid is one of the league's premier shot blockers. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets through like that, you got to look out. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. From Rookie of the Year in 2023 to an All-Star Greg in 2024, Paulo Banker. And, Kevin, that really says it all, doesn't it? Few players hit the ground running like Moncaro has. Becoming an elite competitor, people fear almost instant. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Good ball movement here by the Kings. James with it. Picked up by Bancaro. You know, it's inevitable that a player's physical abilities diminish over the course of a career. But the thing that stands out to me about LeBron James is that he never lost his insatiable drive to win. Guys, if anything, he's gotten stronger. The feel LeBron has for the game, unreal. In whatever situation he finds himself in, he always seems to have an answer. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. LeBron can't get it to go. Good by Dentley. And smart ball movement there from Boncaro. And that selflessness will endear him to his teammates. Irving's shot is good. I just don't think they want him taking that kind of shot. Again, his teammates are just laughing, shaking their heads there on the bench. Here's Morant. Shoots from the high post. Rebound by Joel B. Now, here is Irving. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution for Irving looking over the floor. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Greg, you love this topic more than anyone when you think about the best ball handlers of all time. Where does Kyrie Irving rank on your list? Well, you know I think, Kevin, he's at the very top. I've never seen anyone else pull off some of the things he does. Certainly makes a strong case for the best ever. It's tipped. James in the post. That one good for two. James has got six. And making it look easy. LeBron overwhelms the defense inside. Hits it from three-point range. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity. From deep. And the dunk by James. Yeah, nice, strong finish on the inside. But Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. Levine. Here's Matumbo. Tries a three. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. There's 47 seconds left from the first quarter. Misses the layup. New York trailing. Here's Tantley. And the rejection by James. That anticipation off the charts. Great job by LeBron to deny that one. And New York making a change here. Rudy Gobert. Jimmy Butler. The three from Morant. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Miller with a wide open look. 
Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And just Shakespearean there, a smart read. Saw the defense was collapsing inside, so he wisely pulled up from the outside and drilled it. Here's Butler. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Embiid. Carter outside. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And so it's Philadelphia with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Don't go anywhere. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. They're controlling the pace of this game, pushing the ball up court and getting good looks in early offense. And they've sort of assumed control of this game with their pressure defensively. They've been into the ball handler. They've done a great job of swarming. So they're creating some turnovers, but they're capitalizing on Back to Brunson. Shoots over George. Brunson, no good. Kings leading now by eight. Here's Skiles. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And the great shooters know when they've got enough open to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice. On that possession. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. And look at Ben Carroll go, taking off before the defense has a chance to load towards the ball. And timeout is called by Ime Yudoka. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. And here now the Kings. They lead by four. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Levine. And Levine throws it down. And blessed with high-level explosiveness, Levine is no stranger to finishing in the air. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And Ben Carroll, here we go. Yep, that one goes in there. And taking the hit, no less. Excellent body control from Ben Carroll. And he does a great job of just shielding the ball from defenders. Here's Skiles. Another miss by Philadelphia. Right there, the defender clearly trying to inhibit a fast break. I think that's a transition take foul. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for New York. They are committed to running the floor in this one, relying on their speed to get a lot of points off the fast break. And they've sort of assumed control of this game with their pressure defensively. They've been into the ball handler. They've done a great job of swarming. So they're creating some turnovers. They're capitalizing on Morant right side. Levine for three. Knocks down the three ball. Levine's got the lead up to four now for New York. Levine with that high arching shot from the point. Great with how explosive John Moran is. He has certainly taken his fair share of awkward fall. And that's what worries you with guys like that. He's already had a number of injuries in his young career, but we all just want to see him at full health. Screen by James. Float. Oh, James flashes in the alley-oop. 
LeBron gets behind the eyes of the defense for the highlight reel jam. Here's New York. They trail by one. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Gobert in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Halliburton on the wing. Off target from three-point range. Outside Irving. Pass to Embiid. And it's Miller in the corner. Right side Irving. And the basket is good. And now it's a three-point Philadelphia lead. Well, if he wants to, Kyrie can drive at will. He's got out of this world shaking big moves. Looking to end the run. And stolen by LeBron. You gotta take your time. You don't give them another possession. So hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Well, that's why they're in front. Aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Pass to Halliburton. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on MB. Clearly a foul. For New York, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Halliburton hits them both. Just four seconds left now here in the second. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Kings lead by three. Time now for the halftime break. With the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Philadelphia leading by three. Pass to James. Over Van Carroll. And it's LeBron missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Sent back by Matumbo. And the ferocity on display defensively here from Matumbo. Just an incredible shot block. And here's LeBron outside. Another miss by James. New York trails by three. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. All going up court. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. And so here is New York. Matumbo up top. Bancaro right side. And a wide open look for Halliburton. And it's all evened up. Halliburton's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for New York. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That one's on Morant. And you tried to guard Kyrie without fouling, and that is a challenge unto itself. So nimble with the ball and that shifty hand. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That'll be his second foul of the game. First team. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Out to Morant. And Caro outside. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And you know, guys, with him being on the floor, it's not just about his individual play. He changes everything for everyone on that team. That's how dominant he is. It's not just statistics. His presence alone propels him. Halliburton outside. A three-pointer, no good. Kings leading now by four. Pass to Irving. With some arc. The shot, no good. Morant with some nice D. And Embiid with the block. Outside Irving. Inside. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. A split second late, but almost came up with a the steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. 
And superb job by Morant there, making sure to contest without fouling. That's how you play defense. Out to the wing. A three-pointer off the mark. And here are the Kings now. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. And timeout is called by Ime Yudoka. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. Quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And here's Tatum for three. It's rebounded by New York. Butler with the ball. Now defended by Mitchell. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Tatum's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Here's Skiles. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. And slam dunk by Gobert. And the slam, if Rudy gets that ball anywhere near the rim, he is going to finish it. And Tatum takes the hit and still converts. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night well you can tell they really want to increase this lead they can't keep letting them take it from them. new york shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game free throw good levine he hits one then this is the second attempt from the free throw and shaking his head moment there had a chance to put them out in front and at least they're tied up oh, a fearless play by Mitchell sinks his shot while being fouled and now he'll get to the line he's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here when Donovan Mitchell Greg is on the floor he is the offense <laughs> yeah and that goes beyond just his ridiculous scoring it gets overlooked that he's also a skilled passer so one way or another Mitchell is finding points out there Ren, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think it amazes both of us that Jalen Brunson fell to the second round, the 33rd pick back in 2018. So with that in mind, how has he overcome the doubter? Well, the first thing he got was opportunity, Kevin, and that's all you can ask for as a young player. What he was able to do in Dallas opened up the eyes of a lot of people to what he was capable of as a point guard in the league. But trust me, Jalen Brunson has never stopped believing in his ability and confidence to dominate a game the way that we've seen him do that in the past couple seasons. Tatum, that's for two. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Philadelphia ahead, up by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. New York trailing. Pass to Morant. Some nice passing by New York here. And they double up Morant. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Philadelphia. Now Matumbo. Pass to Skyle. It's over Morant. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And the Kings lead by three. Morant with it. Butler on the way. From downtown, Butler loves the three-point look. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. 
Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Hands to Halibut. Wants to get it over to Dort and does. Tatum with it. Halliburton picks him up. Tatum no good. Morant with it. And here's Halliburton. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And the ferocity on display defensively here from Matumbo. Just an incredible shot block. Butler on the way. New York, no good that time either. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. You know, every coach should show players game tape of how he just boxed out right there. Great job with the footwork and using his body to step to the rebound. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. It's a chance for them to regroup and refocus. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked with the team. Now, they preached the little things in the huddle. They asked their team to battle on those 50-50 calls. One extra possession could be all the difference. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And Matumbo, a defensive force, a long, intelligent player who plays well on both ends of the floor. That's off his run, so he misses both. Irving with a clean look. Drills it from outside. And the Kings lead by three. Appreciate the mentality of Kyrie at this point. Embracing the moment. He'll take the big shot. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this hole spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on. Forget about this sequence here and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Pass to Danley. Halliburton outside. Morant with a wide open look. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Morant got it all tied up now for New York. Here's Irving. The shot from the low post is good. The defender has Irving closely covered, but he's just so determined to get through the contact and to the bucket. And Carroll outside. Pass to Morant. Count it and the foul. That one on MB. A true leader. You can tell Morant takes pride in stepping up when it matters most. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Tremendous job at the line as usual. You can always bank on him in those situations. And it goes out of bounds. A last touch by Irving. And the score being this close, you have to retain possession of the ball. You just can't give it away like that. Here's New York. And Carroll outside. Oh, good with the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. to Halliburton. Now, here's Morant for three. And that one is off. Guys, it's come down here to a very important possession. No room for error. Irving. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And all eyes on Von Carroll here. They want to see how he some intense pressure and the perfect time to be perfect at the line. Only a three can tie it now. And timeout is called by Ime Yudoka. The magnitude at this juncture in the game clearly warranting a timeout. And what's their best move at this point? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. You gotta be smart here. And how about the poise from Kyrie Irving? These are the moments he lives for. 
And the timeout called here by Tom Thibodeau. Pivotal moment in this game. He's not taking any chances. He'll call time. Three from the inbound. Off target from downtown. And we've got a timeout called from Ime Yudoka. And he knows there's no room for mistakes and wants everyone on the same page. Allen outside. The 17-footer. Got it! Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. So it's Philadelphia taking the W in a close one here. That was a fun night of basketball. Fabulous finish as they continued to...